this video where I'm going to explain you the six important areas where you can use the AI for doing various kinds of transfer pricing related jobs, right? As a tax consultant or as a tax professional, this, going to, this video is going to be very important for you. So please save this video and see to it once when you get the time. Also, before, before going to that video, I would request you to subscribe to our channel, The Running CA, where we keep posting such informative content exclusively for tax professionals and chartered accountants. Uh, in the area of international tax transfer pricing and FEMA. Also, I'm coming with the great TP workshop. This is first time ever in India, the TP workshop, practical TP workshop, which we are going to undertake and which we are going to, you know, we have been doing this since now two months, this workshop. And the response is awesome. If you wish to learn transfer pricing and if you wish to pr start practicing transfer pricing at the earliest, then you should enroll to this workshop. It is going to be very informative for you. All right. So now coming back to the video, what are the six main areas where you can use the AI for doing the transfer pricing job? Let me just start with the first one. The first area is drafting of group description or group overview and business description of various entities. You can use AI effectively to draft those uh, entire group descriptions, the drivers of profit and other details of pertaining to that group or business so that you can incorporate appropriately in the TP report or master file. So you can use AI in that particular area. But when you use the AI, ensure that none of the facts are missed and all the facts are also appropriately stated in that particular reports, right? So you can use AI in drafting the group description, group's business description and the entity's business descriptions as well. That is where you can use AI. The second most important area where you can use AI is to draft functional analysis. I think you also, if you are required to also write a detailed functional analysis or detail, details of functions perform risk assume and assets employed. So for functions perform and risk assume, you can use AI and appropriately uh, you can document that in your TP report or master file, wherever you're documenting that particular part or in your benchmarking report. So you can use AI in that particular part. Then after, the third most important area that you can use the AI is to identify the potential risk exposure. So you can, you can just give a prompt on that particular transaction. You can ask AI to tell you the, what could be the potential risk exposure on that transaction as also the position in case if you have taken for that particular transaction. So you can also use AI to understand the potential exposure, potential risk areas pertaining to that particular transactions. So that is where you can use the AI and it's very important point. You should always use AI for such such things. The, thing, the fourth fundamental thing, you can use AI to draft the intercompany agreement. If there's an intercompany transaction between, so the transaction between two entities, you can use the AI to draft that entire agreement. First, my experience is that uh, uh, the, at first, it depends on the prompts which you give to the AI. So you have to give keep giving the prompt so that you get the detailed comprehensive agreement so that uh, you, know, you can incorporate all the relevant clauses uh, in that particular intercompany agreement, and then you can use it as a tool. And it's fifth area. What is the fifth area where you can use the AI? Simple, whatever relevant subject or whatever relevant topic or section which you are mentioning in the master plan TP report, and where you are required to describe something about the business of the company or the group or the other factors or other aspects like you know business profit drivers or main markets, etc or something about the product itself, then you can use the AI for particular parts. So in relevant parts of TP report and master file, you can use the AI. Wherever you find that it is useful to use the AI, you can go ahead and use that particular part when you are making or drafting master file or transforming report. Sixth and the most important part, even under the economic analysis, you can use AI to explain the methodologies or the positions adopted or probably I have also used AI in describing the adjustments, which economic adjustments, which I have undertaken uh, on the comparables to justify the positions. So at that, in, in the, so under economic analysis also, you can use the AI. I hope I have clarified all the six areas. Hope this in, info video was informative to you. If you have liked this video, please hit the like button and also please subscribe to our channel, The Learning CA, where we keep posting such informative video. Thank you.